This is the OTB Network. And they're all in line. They're racing in the Sewanee River. And it's Miss Blakely on for the lead. Persuading on the inside, it's tea time right up there too. Tricks in the City is going up. Project Rose in between horses and then Cherokee Queen on the inside. Followed by Miss World, never a treat, his third last early. Taken back six lengths from the pace setters. In the back are Deputy Darling and Musical Rain. As they race for the first turn, it's going to be Persuading to lead the way. Persuading on top. Ran the opening quarter in 23 and 4 fifth seconds. Miss Blakely and Cherokee Queen are right behind her second and third. It's another two and a half lengths back to Project Rose and Tricks in the City right up alongside of them. It's tea time is inside of Miss World and they're six and a half behind as they go to the back stretch. Then it's Never a Treat going comfortably, still third last there, ahead of Deputy Darling and Musical Rain who are well behind early on. 47 and to the half for Jesus Castagnon and Persuading who continue to set the pace here. Miss Blakely and Cherokee Queen are still second and third and head and head behind that front runner. It's two and a half lengths back to Project Rose. Tricks in the city. It's tea time. It's strong on the inside, but needs some running room. Six lengths off the lead. No place to go right now. On the far outside, Never a Treat is next. And then it's Miss World, followed by Deputy Darling and Musical Rain as Persuading continues to lead the way. Three quarters in one, ten and three. They're into the stretch, Persuading the leader. Cherokee Queen comes to take her on now. Two lengths back to Miss Blakely. It's tea time's got room on the inside. And Never a Treat is trying to get going late. It's now Cherokee Queen and Alex Solis taking over. Never a Treat moves into second as Cherokee Queen wins the Suwannee River. Then never retreat, persuading, and it's tea time. Finish fourth. They're racing in the Gulfstream Park Turf Handicap. And off to a good start, get Stormy and Little Mike. Both have early speed. Smart Bid is out running in third. Twilight Meteor is fourth to the outside early on. Then it's Sal the Barber Teaks North, followed by Battle of Hastings and just around midnight, who will sit at the back of the field as Little Mike will lead the way to the first turn. Little Mike is the leader. Get Stormy kept close. Just behind and right on the rail, drafting in behind Little Mike after a quarter of 23 and two fifth seconds. Twilight Meteor is in third, three lengths off the lead, while Smart Bid sits fourth along the inside. Right alongside is Sal the Barber, fifth by another two, and then it's Teeks North, followed by the trailers. Battle of Hastings, who is now about nine lengths off the lead and just around midnight with 10 to make up. 47 and to the half mile for Little Mike and Joe Bravo who continue to lead the way. Get Stormy guided outside by Javier Castellano. Now they're a half length behind and putting on some pressure. Two lengths back to Twilight Meteor. Then Smart Bid, Sal the Barber in fifth, Teeks North behind them. Battle of Hastings still about seven lengths to make up for Battle of Hastings and just around midnight continues to trail. Three quarters win in one, ten and two. Little Mike the leader. Get Stormy right alongside. Whips out on Twilight Meteor. Smart Bid saves all the ground. After that comes Sal the Barber three wide. And then to the outside, it's Teeks North. Battle of Hastings swings up on the far outside and just around midnight. Get Stormy takes the lead. Smart Bid sneaking up the fence. Here comes Teeks North on the outside. Little Mike fights on between horses as they come down to the wire. Teeks North on the outside and Smart Bid hit the wire together. Teeks North or Smart Bid. Then came Get Stormy and Battle of Hastings.
They're off for the Don Handicap. I Want Revenge and Morning Line both started well, and Square Eddie is right up there, too. Rule is on the far outside, and Hear Ye, Hear Ye is right behind the leaders in fifth as they move into that turn. Hell Doffer is sixth, early, he's five lengths off the lead. Then it's Giant Oak inside of Flydown, and late running Ron the Greek has dropped back 12 lengths from the lead as they round the first turn. Square ready on the outside, morning line at the rail. They're a neck apart through a quarter of 23 and one-fifth seconds. And it's I Want Revenge ruled to the outside and hear ye, hear ye fifth. Three and a half back to El Duffer. Four more to Giant Oak. He's about 11 lengths off the lead right now. Fly down is 14 behind and he's a length in front of Ron the Greek as they continue the run down the back stretch in the Don Handicap of 46 and three half mile. It's morning line on the rail. Square Eddie right alongside and Rule tracks them. I want revenge strongly in hand, fourth at the half mile pole. He's two lengths off the lead. Then long shot, hear ye, hear ye, sent along. Four lengths more, back to El Doffer, Giant Oak to the inside. Fly down is still nine lengths behind and Ron the Greek alongside of him. Around the far turn and now here comes I want revenge up to join the fray. Rule on the far outside, one off the rail at Square Eddie. Morning line fully ridden and four horses are across the track as they turn for home. It's I Want Revenge. Rule on the outside. Cutting the corner is Morning Line. Square Eddie is back to fourth. Giant Oak is finishing fast on the far outside. They're into the final furlong. It is Giant Oak down the center of the track. Coming, charging, and Giant Oak was huge in the dawn. It was close for second between Rule and Morning Line. I want revenge. Finished fourth. And they're all in line. They're racing in the Hallandale Beach. Liberty Camp had a very good start. There goes Stormy Going up to grab the lead. Stormy Going and Paco Lopez moving right along early, opening up a length and a half from Cozy Kitten. Master Dunker is next, and then comes Liberty Camp, who broke well and is taken back to fourth just inside of Brilliant Speed. King Kanji is next, five lengths off the lead. Then comes Private Prize, Megalith, and the early trailer is east of Danzig. 23 and 1 was the first quarter for Stormy Going as they head to the back stretch. Stormy Going's got a two and a half length lead on Cozy Kitten. Then comes Master Dunker, Brilliant Speed to the outside, fourth. King Kanji is fifth outside of Liberty Cap, who's now six lengths off the lead. Then it's East of Danzig taken off the rail on the far outside, Megalith, and Private Prize on hold in the back after a 48 and one half mile. It is still Stormy Going. Stormy Going almost a length in front. Cozy Kitten, though, moving closer. And King Kanji is also on the move. These three now, right together as they enter the far turn. Private Prize continues to progress outside of horses. Brilliant Speed is right there as well. Then Master Dunker, east of Danzig, followed by Megalith and Liberty Cap, who's only four lengths off the lead as they come to the top of the stretch. It is Cozy Kitten, King Kanji to the outside. Brilliant Speed down the center of the course. Master Dunker. Dunker, Liberty Cap is next, and then comes East of Danzig. It is wide open here. King Kanji, the leader. Brilliant speed to the outside. Liberty Cap and Cozy Kitten right there to his master. Dunker, King Kanji won it. Then Master Dunker and Brilliant Speed and Liberty Cap. And they're off. The favorite, CIA Bricks at Ertley. St. Maximus, 
Gatto moves up, and there goes Con Chaser, shooting through toward the rail and emerging with the early lead. Legal move, also away with a top flight, and the last horse away is the late running Let It Rock. They move on to the main track, and Con Chaser has the lead three parts of a length. CIA takes back slightly second. Legal move, the long shot advancing toward the rail now third. Then we go back to Good Lord now fourth. Up on the outside, St. Maximus Gatto is fifth. Captain Candyman Can is gaining ground toward the rail. Two and a half links farther back to a deal. Then it's a gap of five to Lieutenant Dan, and the trailer is still Lieutenant Rock. They swing around the far turn. Con Chaser has the lead. Legal move is second. CIA is being shoved on third. St. Maximus Gatto is now putting in a run on the outside. And Captain Candyman Can awaits racing room. A deal also with a shot. Two links separating the top five as they turn into the stretch. Con Chaser, the leader, along the rail. Legal move, and here comes the veteran campaigner, Captain Candyman Can, in full stride down the center of the racetrack, and he'll have to hold off a deal in deep stretch. Captain Candyman Can will go on to take it. He's back after the long layoff. 99 to one shot. Legal move with an absolutely huge effort. Settles for second and check the running time. 123 and one. Ladies and gentlemen, hold all mutual tickets. The inquiry sign has been posted. A steward's inquiry into the stretch run of the ninth race. Away and running in the Tiffany last stakes. Unbridled praise broke sharp and is going out toward the front. Lost by Halo against the rail. Wicked Dean right there with the white cap and Flash Mash is close. Tri leaders and Flash Mash is just off them. It's lost by Halo from the rail to a short lead from Wicked Dean and Unbridled Praise. Flash Mash is in the four path with four furlongs to go in the Tiffany last. The first couple of furlongs covered in 22 and one fifth seconds as they enter the far turn. Lost by Halo, Wicked Deed, Unbridled Praise, and Flash Mash out there in the four path. Now, under three furlongs from the winning line. At the inside, Lost by Halo, Wicked Deed, Unbridled Praise, Flash Mash joins the four. The four across the track at the quarter pole. Top of the stretch. Half mile in 45 and four. It's Wicked Deed with that big white blaze. Toward the inside, lost by Halo under pressure. Unbridled praise, stand side, flash mash. But deep in this final fairgrounds furlong, here's Wicked Deed. Wicked Deed inching away in deep stretch with Rosina Provnik in the Tiffany last stakes. It goes to Wicked Deed in 111 and three. Wicked Deed won by five and second is dead tight. They're off, racing in the black gold stakes, the way it used to be, broke sharp, along with Trubs in the gold, hydropower right there, here's changing the rules from the rail, Divine Music is also close with that blue cap, and In His Glory has dropped back to last, after the first furlong and a half, it's changing the rules by a half length to hydropower, as they head to the half mile pole, Divine Music nicely into third. Trubs is four lengths off the pace. Then In His Glory, the way it used to be, has dropped back to last. The opening quarter, 22 seconds flat. 
They round the far turn, changing the rules, now being readily opposed by Hydro Power with under three furlongs to go. Trubs with a move on the outside. Here's Trubs and Jesse Campbell, and Trubs comes looking for the lead as they come toward the top of the stretch. Belvi Music is fourth. They're homeward bound in the black gold. Half mile, 46 seconds flat. Trubs is charging. Trubs getting left-handers, and Trubs just in front. Divine Music slipped through inside of changing the rules. Now to challenge Trubs is Divine Music inside the final 16th. Trubs and Divine Music changing the rules is third. Trubs, Divine Music, Trubs narrowly. Trubs, Trubs wins. Trubs wins the black gold over Divine Music in a good stretch battle at the fairgrounds. Changing the rules finished third and his glory was fourth. And they're off for the lead. Page me on the outside. Also on the outside, Military Jewel. Moving through from the rail, that's Cuvée's image. Into the first turn, Military Jewel gets the lead, opens it out to two. Cuvée's image second, Page me third ahead. Drifting wind runs fourth. Twin spired up on the outside, fifth ahead. Then Bluegrass Dreamer is sixth. Two back to band jammer and kid champion. Then it's tap town. Four more to Sir Rudy, followed on the inside by Practical Justice and the trailer, our fast cat. 23 and three for the quarter, the leader military jewel. Has it a length, Cuvée's image is second, page me third, gaining from the outside, twin spired and tap town. Then a gap of four. Drifting wind has dropped back. The half and 47 and three. Tap Town and Twin Spired are both gaining ground. Tap Town ahead in front of Twin Spired. Cuvée's image third. Then on the outside page, me has dropped back in fourth. Gap of five lengths to our fast cat in fifth. Tap Town on the outside has a head in front. Twin Spired. Now Twin Spired gets the lead from Tap Town. Then Cuvée's image up on the outside are Fast Cat. They're nearing the wire. And Twin Spired just rolls away. Twin Spired to win the EBN. Wins by four or five photo for second. Our Fast Cat in Tap Town. Then Cuvée's image. There they go. Turbulent descent began well, but it's California Nectar setting off for the lead. But Mayday Rose wants the lead, and Mayday Rose actually being ridden along, so they absolutely sprint into the turn. California Nectar down at the rail, and Mayday Rose, they could not be going any quicker. Those two absolutely fly. They open up four lengths on them now. Back in third is Tiz the route. In the fourth spot, Plum Pretty being taken back, saying they gain too fast, allowing them a seven length advantage. On the outside, Turbulent Descent, also just sitting back patiently, and Zazu, the early trailer, a good 11 off the leaders. They head past the 5 8 pole, and May Day Rose on the outside of California Nectar. They're going to have to be good to keep up this pace. Going past the half mile, they are clear by six lengths. Plum Pretty's back in third. On the far side, tis the route. Now Zazu, the grey down at the rail. Turbulent Descent is going to have to go wide, but Turbulent Descent moving up on the far side. 
Three eights to go and May Day Rose and already California Nectar's gone. Not surprisingly, Zazu on the inside. Now here comes Turbulent Descent in the Gold Cup and Turbulent Descent is starting her run. Quarter of a mile to go, May Day Rose breathing fire. Zazu and Turbulent Descent, the two favourites, come to dispute the last Virginus. They are homeward bound now and Turbulent Descent on the outside being pushed along. Zazu is stretching her every yard of the way, a thrilling stretch running the last Virginus. Zazu is out running the favourite, Turbulent Descent, and it's going to be Zazu to score. Zazu and Joel Rosario take the last Virginus just over a length to Turbulent Descent. Plum Pretty was third and Mayday Rose finished fourth. Away they go to the perfect start. Meteor is showing early speed. Jasmine's dance came out smoothly and shows pace as well. Colgan's chip is on the outside and Fluke right there at the rail. Meteor tucked in right behind the leaders with Sky Rush. Victor's Cry going to drop in behind them as Blue Chagall has taken back second last. And Dakota Phone has usual no early speed last. Eight lengths off these leaders. Past the seven eights they go now, and on the far side it's Colgan's Chip the Grey, down at the rail, Proudensky. Two lengths back to Jasmine's Dance in the third spot, then comes Meteor and Fluke. In behind that we have Sky Rush, Blue Chagall is at the rail, giving them six length start. Victor's Cry is back second last, and Dakota Phone content to trail still has nine to make up. They head to the half mile pole, Proudinsky at the rail and Colgan's chip, they stride for stride and they clear by three to Jasmine's dance, then it's Meteor and Fluke. In behind that, Blue Chagall in the red colours, on the far side is Sky Rush, then Victor's Cry and Dakota Phone being wound up from last. They come to the top of the lane, Proudinsky down at the rail and Colgan's chip, Meteor's moving in, Fluke on the far side, Blue Chagall needs somewhere to run, Victor's Cry coming with a run and Dakota Phone, now the whole picture's changing, Proudinsky the leader, Meteor down at the rail, Fluke is right there, Victor's Cry on the outside and Blue Chagall at the rail, Proudinsky holding off a wall of horses, Proudinsky's hanging on, Meteor, Fluke on the outside, Proudinsky and Fluke gonna hit it together, Fluke's gonna win it, Fluke gets up, well ridden, Fluke wins, Brodinski second, Meteor and Victor's Cry, close photo for third. Heels sent on their way to a perfect start. Indian Firewater, quick from the inside and twirling candies right there. Tweebster is the grey. Do It All is on the outside, down at the rail, honor the deputy. Oil is Black Gold, second last, and Make Music For Me is taken back last, but only six lengths covers them all. They head past a 7 eights and Indian Firewater, just a sensible pace, not flying, but leads it by half a length. Now on the outside, Twirling Candy's pretty keen to go on, and now they are quickening, and all of a sudden now it's Indian Firewater turned into a sprint on the inside as Twirling Candy puts the pressure on him. Two back to Tweeps, they're in third, down at the rail comes Honor the Deputy. Do It All is on the far side, make music for me, coming through down at the rail, only four lengths off the leaders, Oilers Black Gold, last of a compact field.
They run to the half mile pole and Indian Fire Water now on a loose rein. He's going quickly out here. In the second spot is Twirling Candy. Down at the rail, we have Make Music for Me. Made his way up and joined third. The grey is Tweepster. Do It All has to go three wide in between. Horses under the deputy. Oil is black gold last, but no more than four lengths covers them all. Three eights to go and Indian Fire Water not given a breather at all. They've kept the pressure on throughout and Twirling Candy now puts his head in front. A quarter of a mile to go and Twirling Candy is strong on the lead. Does he have this much left? It looks like he's going real easy. Ryder hasn't asked him. Homeward bound in the stroop. Twirling Candy gets the rain shaken in. Tweepster is going to try to make a race of it. But just look at Twirling Candy. This is sensational. Twirling Candy, the son of Candy Wright, in a scintillating performance in the Struve. Joel Rosario never let him loose. Tweepster was second, make music for me third, then Indian Firewater and Oil is Black Gold. Straight in, gates closed, all set for the San Antonio. Field sent on their way to an even beginning. Spurrier took up shortly after the start and is last. Gladding goes on from the inside gate to show the way. Poder is right there in second. Big shot set close up to Quindici Man. Aggie Engineer is going to have to go a little wide as they bunch up here. Aggie Engineer on the outside. They're certainly not in any hurry out here. Spurrier is last, but only five lengths would cover them all. They run to the 7-8s and Gladding got a very easy lead out here. Just takes them along a comfortable length and a bit. Poder is right there in second. Big Shot Sid scrapes the paint in third. Aggie Engineer has settled in the fourth spot. Three lengths off the leaders. Quindici Man back second last and Spurrier has stole the trailer. Now six off the leader. They move on to the back stretch now and it's still gladding just on a nice long rain takes them along a half a length. On the far side Podo is second. Aggie Engineer pretty keen to go on on the far side. Between horses comes Big Shot Sid and Quindici Man down at the rail. Two and a half lengths would separate all five and Spurrier is still quite content to trail. A half mile to go and Gladding has certainly had it all his own way out here. He's still in front, three parts of a length. Poder is right there, second. Quindici man down at the rail. Aggie Engineer just wants to have a go at them now. Now Spurrier's decided they're going too slow. And here's Spurrier with a first run. And Spurrier's come from last all the way up to challenge for the lead now. So they're going to turn it into a quarter of a mile sprint for home. And Gladding is up to the challenge. Gladding sprints on at the rail. Spurrier takes him on from second. Quindici man at the rail. Aggie Aggie Engineer could not quicken but will come running late. Homeward bound now and Gladding finds more on the lead. Spurrier stretching him every yard of the way. Aggie Engineer trying to get involved late but Gladding digs deep. He finds more. Spurrier stretched him the whole way but the more they asked the more Gladding gave and Gladding has won the San Antonio. Spurrier second, Aggie Engineer third and Quindici Man was fourth. And they're off. Quick start on the outside from uh, Poppy Day. Layla Benz up close. There goes Spa City Princess and 515. Spa City Princess has the lead going into the turn. 515 is down at the rail. And on the outside is a Poppy Day. Eager Emmer's racing in fourth. Layla Benz is now back in fifth. And Big Brownie will be the early trailer in sixth as the field heads for the back stretch. And the opening quarter was run in 25 and two-fifth seconds. 
Spa City Princess on the lead here. Poppy Day on the outside moves into second with 5.15 racing in third. Eager Emma is fourth. Then it's Layla Ben. Big Brownie still trails. Big Brownie about seven lengths from the leader. And the leader is Spa City Princess, who leads now by two. 5.15, Poppy Day heads apart second and third. The half went in 50 and four-fifth seconds. Eager Emma is now moving up on the outside. Then comes Layla Ben and Big Brownie. And now the field races midway on the turn. Spa City Princess by a half length over Poppy Day. Eager Emma on the outside. Layla Ben now moves into fourth. 5.15 is back in fifth. And Big Brownie is still the trailer. They're in the stretch. Three quarters in one sixteen and one. Spa City Princess. Here's Eager Emma on the outside. Spa City Princess trying to hold off Eager Emma. Spa City Princess by a long neck. Eager Emma on the outside. Spa City Princess still in front. Eager Emma second. And Spa City Princess does it. Wire to wire. Eager Emma second. Farther back, Layla Ben was third. They're in the gate. And they're off. JJ's lucky train breaks well on the outside, but quickly to his inside, there goes rescind the trade and preaching to the devil. Preaching to the devil and JJ's lucky train are heads apart going into the clubhouse turn. Rescind the trade is taking back into third now. On the outside, Arthur's tail, and down at the rail is Toby's corner. JJ's Lucky Train has got the lead as they head for the back stretch. JJ's Lucky Train, clear by a little more than a length. Preaching to the devil in second, the opening quarter in the mud in 23 and two fifth seconds. Rescind the trade. And on the outside is Arthur's tail. Those two are both moving up. Toby's corner is the trailer in fifth. JJ's Lucky Train leads by two lengths. Rescind the Trade is in second, preaching to the devil down at the rail in third, then Arthur's Tail and Toby's Corner, and the half went in 48 and 4 fifth seconds. JJ's Lucky Train holding on to the lead here. It's JJ's Lucky Train by three quarters of a length. Rescind the Trade is in second. On the outside is Arthur's Tail. There goes Toby's corner now, making a move on the far outside. Three quarters in 114 as they hit the head of the stretch. JJ's lucky train. Here's Toby's corner on the outside. JJ's lucky train and Toby's corner, and they are right together at the eighth pole. Toby's corner on the outside. JJ's lucky train. Battles on down at the rail. Toby's corner with a head in front. JJ's lucky train in second. And it will be Toby's corner to win the whirl away. JJ's lucky train was second. Then preaching to the devil, Arthur's tail, and rescind the trade. And they're off. Electric Gold and Vindy City go out for the lead. A lady Darlin. Now Divas Gold moves up. On the far outside is Super Espresso and Kitty Licious is the early trailer in six as they race around the clubhouse turn. Electric Gold by a half length over Divas Gold. Then Super Espresso and down on the inside is Vindy City. 
Lady Darlin is in fifth, and it's a break of almost five to Kitty Licious. The quarter in the slop in 24 and four fifth seconds. The field heads up the back stretch. It's still Electric Gold holding off Divas Gold. Electric Gold by a neck. Divas Gold races second with Vindy City down on the inside in third. Then comes Super Espresso, who's three lengths off the front. Lady Derlin next to last, and Kitty Licious at the back. Half mile, 49 seconds. Electric Gold has the lead going around the turn. Divas Gold on the outside. Electric Gold by a head. Divas Gold in second. Super Espresso now right behind the front runners. Vindy City's down at the rail. Lady Derlin is fifth and Kitty Licious. They turn for home. Three quarters in one, 14 and two. It's Divas Gold and Electric Gold. And on the outside, Super Espresso. Now it's between Divas Gold and Super Espresso as Electric Gold drops out of it. Super Espresso on the outside. Divas Gold on the inside. The two of them right together as they come for the line. And it's a photo finish. Was it Super Espresso or Divas Gold?